Hey everyone, it's Joe, and I'm just poking my head back in here because I just finished grading a stack of undergrad papers and I thought it would be an appropriate time to poke my head in and address the elephant in the room. And no, I'm not talking about the war that's taking place 70 kilometers to the south of me. And I'm not even talking about my thesis that's limping along. I'm talking about the fact that academia is broken. And this is only partly related to the congressional testimony a few months ago about anti-Semitism on campuses. Um, that, of course, brings it back full circle to the war that's going on here. So there's that. But it's a broader issue that has been going on for, for a long time now and academia just seems to have lost its way. There's the obvious issues of plagiarism and things that you may or may not have heard of like p-hacking, peer review. There's degree inflation which I've been watching happen for the last several decades. Just uh, that's degree inflation in terms of the value of the ed education itself not to mention the cost of the education, which is a whole nother ball game. Um, and then there's the anti-Semitism, the woke that's taken over campuses, the lack of freedom of speech, which is really the antithesis of a university, what it's supposed to be doing. So this came on my radar over 30 years ago when I was first going into undergrad and somebody tried to dissuade me from going to university because they said that it would destroy my faith and my values. And it didn't, but that's not obvious, and especially in today's day and age. For those of you who are in your 40s and 50s and maybe your 30s and you're thinking of going to back to school, um, I think there are still good reasons to go back to school and that's whether you're going back to college or undergrad or a graduate degree. Um, there are good reasons for that, but... Um, I think you have to think it through very carefully. And of course, at this stage in your life, you have life experience. And I think that you will already have thought very carefully about the value for you, about why you're going, what you hope to get out of it. Um, where are you going? And I think probably very few of you thinking about going back to school are going to be going to like your Harvard or your other, you know, woke Ivy League universities. Um, hey, if you have a quarter of a million dollars to blow on an inflated education, then knock yourselves out. Um, and that's not just Harvard, that's a lot of other places, like whether you actually get value for your education or not is um, is a whole thing that you have to think about, obviously. So make sure you know where you're going, why, and what you hope to get out of it. And I think that you'll be able to bring your life experiences to bear and focus on on the actual experience and it is a great experience and so there are so many reasons why you might want to go back to school and it could be even as simple for some of you like it was for me uh, just a childhood dream the childhood dream of coming of studying in Israel so um, just make sure you keep your focus on that um, and those of you I think there are, are a lot of people out there I was uh, one of them who are afraid. I did very well in in university before when I went to undergrad and to law school and not so well in law school, but okay, um, in undergrad anyways. And um, it's scary going back 30 years later because you don't know 
um, how the students are going to be, how the classes are going to be, how you're going to be able to handle the stress and the studying. And time goes fast. Like time goes, flies by so fast. And there's just not enough time to do everything. So life experience really helps, I think, to keep things in perspective and focus on what's important. So finally, I do want to say that I just, like I said, I finished grading a stack of undergrad papers. And I think there is hope for students of today. I was happily surprised and all of what I'm saying is not really it's not specific to my school it's I'm not saying anything about my school here this is mostly about North American schools you um, American schools internationally some of these issues are valid like are taking place as well but it's nowhere near the stage where it is on um, North American campuses so having said that, there is hope. I think that there, are, there were definitely kids in the class that I TA'd that really were thoughtful and wanted to think for themselves about these issues and um, about the, the issues that we were talking about, which was um, political, it's political science. So we were talking about things like things that are happening and and of interest in the world today. Like um, people are talking about fascism and people are talking about populism. And um, yeah, so the students are great. Some of them, a lot of them are, you know, they, they really do want to think about these things and are very thoughtful and don't want to just spew back what they've heard. So, I was happily surprised. I think there is hope. and um, But there is a big reckoning ahead for academia. It does have to address a lot of these issues. It's lost its way. It needs to find its way back to what the purpose of an education, a further you know, university level education is. And hopefully it will do that. Um, but maybe... I, I don't know, maybe, maybe there's just a, a time for a different way. But for those of you who are thinking of going back to school, I think it's a great idea if you've thought it through and um, you know why you're going. And I would love to hear about it. So tell me about it in the comments down below. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And share with your friends and make sure you subscribe. And until next time, Shalom, eh?